Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing a soft glam look. Mainly it's drugstore. There is a little bit of high end in there, but mainly drugstore. And if you are new, please feel free to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you're aware of future uploads and we'll go ahead and get started. So what I'm gonna do first, I've actually been doing like this underpainting and I've been doing like under priming, I guess you can call it. I don't know if that's such a thing, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and prep my skin first and then we'll go ahead and do the eyeshadow. So I am taking my NYX Bear With Me setting spray here. I'm just gonna set my face. So I'm just gonna let that sit in a little bit while I set my eyes here and put my eyeshadow on. So I am still using my Milani eyeshadow primer here. I'm just gonna prime the lids here. I think that was a little bit much, but that is okay. I hope everybody is doing well. We have had some crazy weather where I am at. I am in Indiana, so we've had the 70s and then it's dropped down to like now the 30s. We've had warm sunny days, we've had hail. Uh, we've had rain, a lot of wind, tornado watches, all kinds of good stuff. So that's what it's going on here. So let me know where you guys are from. Let me know where you're watching from. Hopefully the weather is better than us. I think we're now in the 30s. So, so we're just going to go ahead and prime the eyelids. And I'm going to use the LA Girl, the nudist palette. Again, this is just a soft glam. So I figured, you know, I got brown on. So I figured I'd just go ahead and take these neutral tones here, these warm neutral tones, and use these and see what we can create here. So, And I'm just going to take a couple neutral shades here just to have a transition color. So I think I'm going to mix probably the shade here and the shade here. And I think when I build this color up, I'm gonna use this dark brown, chocolate brown color here and put this on my eyelid. So I really like this palette. These colors are very pigmented. I like them. This brown is almost as dark as a black. Like you can keep building it up. It'd probably look like almost black eyeshadow. All right, so I'm just gonna take me a clean brush and um, blend in the edges here. I still need to do my eyebrows. I have not done my eyebrows since the last time I filmed and that's been over a week ago. Still need to do them. So I think I'm gonna take one of these shimmers here in the palette. Probably, I'm probably gonna mix like this uh, brown color here and maybe this color here. Or I may just mix all three of them and see what I can create in the center of my eyelid, like a smoky shadow look. So I'm gonna try that today. So I'm just gonna take these, probably these two colors here. Well, actually all three, why not? We're gonna do all three. So I just dip and then I'm gonna spray my brush. And I'm just gonna apply it to the center of my eyelid here.
I think I'm gonna dip some more in here and see if I can get it to build up a little bit more. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build it up with my finger. That's what I'm going to do. Because I see it's showing a little bit, but it's not showing enough for me. So I'm just going to build it up. You know, when in doubt, use your fingers. If the brush isn't working after you spray it, then use your fingers and it'll pop a little bit more. So I'm going to try that. All right, so that, you know, that brought the look together a little bit. This is this eye. So we'll see what the next eye does. I'm going to have to do the same thing that I did to this eye. That way it looks almost, you know, almost the same. And believe it or not, this is my first time doing a smoky shadow look. I've never done one of these before. I've been watching my makeup tutorials, and that's the only way that you can learn, you know, like, is to watch. Watch and learn. So this is my first time doing it. So you can always use a highlighter as well if you find that your eyeshadow isn't popping with the shimmer. You can always take a highlighter and put just a little bit on your eyelid and that'll pop as well. Some of these shimmers, they're just, they're not really as vibrant as you would think they would be in the pan. Um, so some of them are just like neutral. So, but you can always make it pop with a highlighter, if nothing else. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend out these edges here around my eye. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this highlighter here. This is Creamsicle. This is a Creamsicle highlighter. It is the YC collection. Um, I did get this in a BoxyCharm, I believe. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this liquid highlighter here and I'm going to apply it on this brush here, this little flat brush. And I'm going to put it where I just put that eyeshadow, that neutral color, the shimmers. And I pray it works So there is that. So as you can see, the highlighter shows more now, um, being that the neutral shimmers didn't show. All right, and I think I'm going to take this black color in here. There's a black color here and there, and I'm going to just apply it at the edge of my eye here. So I'm just taking a little flat brush here. I'm just dipping into this, tapping off the excess. And I'm just gonna create like a, just a little wing, maybe. Just a little bit, nothing much. You don't have to go all out again. This is just a soft glam look. So I'm not gonna do any dramatic anything today. I'm gonna put on some lashes as well, um, but they're not gonna be dramatic or anything like that. Just gonna put on a little bit of lashes. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. So I did use my setting spray. I went ahead and primed my face with my spray, but now I'm gonna use my um, Catrice uh, Poreless Blur Primer. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on to let that sit in. And for my combo oily girls, as far as this primer goes, um, you will need to rub it in really well in your skin. That way it sits in properly. I was doing it with a brush before, but then you need to really press it in. You have to press in those pore primers into your skin to make them work properly. So.
All right, so today I'm switching it up. I'm gonna be using the Big Mood Waterproof Elf Mascara here. So I am gonna use this today. All right, and then we're gonna line our upper waterline with the eyeliner so that you don't get a contrast with your lashes. So let me just sharpen my pencil here. Still using the LA Girl, the LA Girl Gel Glide Liner, I can't talk. I'm gonna try and do this without raising up my eyelid. Let me see if there's a way that I can do it. I recommend getting a gel liner to, you know, line your upper lash line because that will hurt if you have one of them pencils, them old school pencils that would hurt trying to do that. So we're going to go ahead and do lashes. I'm going to put on the Kiss number 11 lashes. Kiss number 11 lashes, those are the most natural looking lashes that you can get pretty much in my opinion. Um, it, it's not too dramatic. The lash isn't too dramatic. So that, that is a really good lash. All right, so lashes are on. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer. Um, I did get a new shade. I am in the e.l.f. Uh, Camo Concealer. It's the Hydrating Camo Concealer. I did go ahead and get Tan Walnut because the Tan Neutral was pulling off more orange on my eyes. So I went ahead and got Tan Walnut and I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And what I've been doing is I even put a little bit of my L'Oreal concealer on there as well. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear in 400 Caramel. Um, the reason why is because I do have dark circles. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but I do have dark circles. And I just take a smidge of it and just put just a, just a tiny bit on there underneath my under eyes. And then I'll let that sit in there for a couple minutes and then we will blend it out. All right, so now that that's been sitting in for a couple minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my finger and then we're gonna go ahead and put on the foundation. So for today's foundation, we're gonna go old school. I do have the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation and this one is in the shade Cafe. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and blend this out here. but I do see the dew picking up. And what I like to do is take my foundation brush near where the concealer was placed, like especially around the edge of the eyes here, and blend my foundation brush in with that concealer at the edge of my eye. So I'm just going to set my concealer under my eyes and then we're gonna set it. And I'm really liking this underpainting technique. It works wonders for me. So my gals that are 30s and their 40s, mid 30s, early 40s, mid 40s, this underpainting technique is, is bomb. I really like it. All right, so I'm gonna blend out my under eyes. And I'm just taking this CoverGirl Clean and Clear Translucent Powder. Mine is in 105 Fair, Translucent Fair. And I'm just gonna set my under eye here. And 
And I do apologize if you can hear all that. There's sirens in the background. Okay, so under eyes are set. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with this powder. Kill some of the shine. And then we're gonna go ahead in with the uh, bronzer, blush, and highlight. So I am using the Cab Cosmetics bronzer. So this is an oldie but a goodie. I love these and I love the pans in these, so. And I'm just gonna mix them. I'm gonna mix probably like all four, maybe like all six of them, just mix them all. <laughs> mix them all up. And then for blush, I have two options for blush. Um, for blush, we can either use the LA Girl Hottie Palette, which are these you know colors here, or we can use the Milani Baked Blush in Bella Bellini. So I really like this color too. So you know what? We may as well just use both of them. Why not go all out with it? So I'm going to use these three colors here, or actually these two, well, all three, just lightly though. And it has a nice flush of pink on your cheeks. So there's that. And today I'm going to use the Laura Geller High Def Glow Illuminator Duo. This is the Heart of Gold. I believe this was in a BoxyCharm as well. So this is the colors here. I like these colors, they're bright. I like bright highlight for some reason, I don't know. Maybe because of my skin tone, so. But I'm gonna take this color right here, tap off the excess. Okay, so I don't see much payoff on that. Okay, I see it. But, well, maybe on camera you guys can see it more. So that's a pretty, that's a, a pretty highlighter. It has like a nice glitter to it. I like that. It's pretty. All right, so I'm going to do the next side. I just like highlighters that show on my skin tone. I don't know. I guess I'm going more towards the brighter ones. So I like those because it, blends in well on my skin. All right, so you know the drill. We're gonna put it above our brow bone. That way you're just shining. All right, so there's that. I'm going to use the Essence Extreme Lasting Eyeliner, and this one is in Silky Nude. So I'm gonna use this eyeliner on my lower lash line. I think nudes are pretty. It just makes your eyes seem like they're more awake. All right, so there's that. And then we're gonna go ahead and use the same mascara, which is the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. Lashes are done on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the lips. All right, so I'm going to use this e.l.f. Cream Glide Lip Liner. This is in dark brown. So I'm gonna use that on my lips here.
And I like this color. This color is pretty. I'm going to use my Sol Janeiro lip color lipstick and it's in Soulmate. I love this lipstick and it smells like chocolate chip cookies. I've been saving to do brows last just due to the powders and foundations and stuff and I'm so heavy-handed with it I because I set my foundation and stuff and put my powder and stuff on and I just do brows last so that's what we're going to do today I'm still using the Wonder Beauty upgraded brows and I have mine in dark brown I still need to do my eyebrows Set this face one more time because I do see this shine peeking in. I'm not one of those because I feel like this foundation is really good, but it's kind of dewy. So I'm just going to set my face one more time with powder. Right, and then we're gonna lock everything into place and I am using the Black Radiance Matte Setting Spray. All right guys, so this completes the look. We are all set, we are all finished. Um, I will have more content loading. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.